In this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, this example here, using chain rule to find a gradient at a point. So um, this one here, um, we're just using our chain rule and applying it to a situation we've done a few times before, you know, how to find a gradient at a point. Okay, so first thing, um, we wanna find the gradient of this curve Y when X is three, okay? And that's, they've just given us the coordinate there, but we really only care about the X value. First thing is we need to differentiate dy by dx. Now we know if we want to differentiate something, the dy by dx is equal to n, and then you've got f of x, the power of n take one times by f dash of x. That's our chain rule rule that we use. So let's do that now. So four comes down times by x squared minus seven, take one off the power, then we differentiate that function. So inside you've got a 2x. We can now express that as 8x, lots of x squared takes 7 cubed. So there we go, we've got our gradient function. Next step is you want to find the gradient at the point 3, 16. So I'm going to say, okay, well, we know when x is equal to 3, we can plug that into our gradient rule and find the gradient at x is equal to 3. So you go let x is equal to 3, sub it in, Now, 8 times 3 is 24, lots of 9 minus 7 all cubed. 24 times by 2 cubed becomes 24 times by 8, and that becomes 1, 9, 2. Okay, and that's more or less our answer. We found the gradient at that point. We can see it's quite steep and positive. I was double checking my answers to make sure that's correct. Um, and yeah, that's it. Hopefully this video was useful and um, yeah, that's, that makes the end of lesson 12 using the chain rule. Thank you.